Thank you for the invitation. It's an honor to be here. 32 years. Okay, let's see how it started. Uh, back in uh, 1980, there was a groundbreaking uh, publication showing that you could actually use the nose to get a very quick onset. And uh, this was something new. Uh, usually people are using only tablets. Sometimes they use the rectal uh, suppositories. But uh, being able to bring something quickly into the bloodstream uh, using the nose was, was something interesting. So there were a lot of people thinking, what, how can this be used? And uh, I was involved in a team where we were thinking about what about seizures? Epileptic seizures is something you would like to stop immediately. Let's try to focus on that. If we could give intranasally and stop the seizure. Actually, uh, this person there is sitting upstairs. He is now the head of our chemistry department, <laughs> uh, Benjamin. So uh, uh, when we were doing this work, there was a publication back in 89 showing that uh, they were giving uh, benzodiazepines intranasally. And uh, first, when I saw the graph, I thought, oops, someone has made the product we were looking at. But uh, looking more closely, you saw that the T max was in about one and a half hour or, or more. Uh, T max is the maximum time. Uh, no, maximal concentration, uh, time to maximal concentration. And I thought, no one can wait for one hour to get an effect. So I started doing the math, tried to, uh, and, and there was a series of studies that we had to do. Uh, the problem here is that you have to take one clinical dose and you need to be able to dissolve it in 100 microliter. You cannot. 100 microliter, actually two drops. If you use a dropper, there is 50 microliter per drop, so you have to have a full clinical dose in one drop, and it has to be absorbed within five minutes, because otherwise it will be swallowed down to your throat and, and uh, into the stomach, and the absorption will get from the stomach. So this is not easy. So, um, that was the difficult task. After about 20 years, I found this compound. Um, finally, I believed I have something that was able to dissolve clinical amount. It looked much better than everything else that we have been, or I have been doing before. Uh, the only problem was that the University of Iceland and Randy State both told me this is not interesting. So I decided to fund this myself. Uh, this was also in, this was back in 2006 7 and uh, uh, because the law in Iceland changed that time, so we had to inform our employer that we had discovered something. So I went to the university and told them, I think I've discovered something. And um, uh, of course, they were interested. They knew my background, they knew my passion, and so they uh, wanted to be a part of that. But they were not willing to finance it. But we made an agreement, and uh, I took care of the patents. And as we heard from the previous speaker, you have to uh, file a number of patents, so we have about four patents in all these countries. We had, uh, in my case, he did, uh, he started in the US, I started in Iceland. Uh, in 2007, PCT was filed in 2008, and then we went in national to different countries. Um, when we did the clinical studies, uh, we saw we have something of high value. Because if you see, the, uh, the gray is, is uh, IV, something that you inject directly into the, 
uh, arteries, but the blue one is the nasal, and, and we can actually get similar uh, effect giving nasal as, as an IV. And when we look at the uh, uh, release of, of, uh, um, of seizure, it has similar speed of onset. So if someone has a seizure, you can just give a puff and it uh, fades out in about 60 to 90 seconds. But why patent? Um, it took 32 years. And uh, in 2007, we filed a patent then because I didn't have the funding to do all the preclinical and clinical studies. I had to make license agreements. And these companies, in total, they had to pay, or it costed around $200 million just to do the development. And who is willing to do, to spend $200 million if, uh, as soon as you're finished, someone else will manufacture this and, and, and copy it? So uh, the only way to, to make or, or to uh, ask someone to invest such amount is by filing a patent. Then you have protected the intellectual property rights. And um, so I can know they spent around 70, 000, 70 million, but they were, did not have the capacity to, to spend more. So they made an agreement with Officer Smith and uh, they spent uh, uh, way over 100 million dollars on, on this. But then they got bought, but they kept the, the uh, product and sold it to UCB, who marketed it. But what is the value of this? When Proxim again sold the product to UCB, it was upfront probably around 200 million, but then they about 370 million dollars. Unfortunately, because I had to uh, make a license agreement very early on, I did not get uh, a share of this sum I wish I had. But uh, when you start, you don't know how uh, uh, how it will go, because it's complicated. It, you have to go through, through many companies, and, and it's a bumpy road. And uh, in one of our first meetings with UCB, they told me, you have to be aware that, that if this is going to be a good product, other companies will try to sue you. So, that's what I'm going through now. Uh, Anantia and University of Iceland, we are in a court case in the US. Uh, CIPLA, Indian company, uh, based on the data that we have received because of the trials, they had spent tens of years trying to develop similar formulation, but they never succeeded. They were not able to do it, so they finally uh, decided, okay, let's look at St. Pierre's patent, and uh, that worked. So uh, they said, okay, let's try to sue them and then make the patent invalid. And we are going through that now. Uh, this case cost about $40 million for UCP, and uh, I was lucky that I put into the agreement that if there will be a court case, uh, they will take that and, and uh, pay for that. And that was back in 2007, so I'm, I'm really glad I, I did that. So, um, one thing is to file a patent, that's easy. Other thing is to make sure it can stand all the wind and trial that happens, can happen to it. So thank you very much.